Hey, what's up YouTube? And today, I'm going to teach you how to make your custom thumbnail for YouTube. So first of all, you need Photoshop, then go to File, then go to New, the size of 1280 by 720. So, okay, make sure that's transparent, and then click your color that you want. Me, I'm going to Orange, and for today, I'm going to make a thumbnail for videos but I'm going to make it soon but today I'm going I'm just going to make a thumbnail for this video so that I can show you to how to make it so first you need to have a rectangle make a background and then click text and click any point you want but then I'm going to use menu then font size I prefer 222 there. Oh, it's so you can you can type anything you want, but me I'm going I'm just going to type custom thumbnail. Thumbnail. Oh wait. Let me I'll just make this 200 there and just add custom custom thumbnail there and then we can make it all of the text in this is in this side right Why is that bad? Never mind. Oh wait. Let's put an M there. Then you can put it in the middle. Then when you right write this letter and then go to blending options. Wanna go with stroke, then open up drop shadow, the opacity 75, I think 100, and then distance zero, spread 55 size is 40 you have a nice looking text and then if you want to go to gradient and go to black and white and you can pick anything you want you can experiment some colors of getting this rainbow with me I'm just going to use black and white and I will change the direction like this then I will put it in the middle and then click OK then when you have the style change it up to linear and then click the angle to negative 90 as you see the custom is white the black the thumbnail is black so that's a little bit good then if we go again here I forgot and there's art to drop shadow and then this color make it to gray gray there you go. Do you see this? Huh? It's a nice, nice color. And then, if you want to put the logo of the Photoshop, you can search up on Google.com. And then, Photoshop, Photoshop logo. And you can pick anything you want. But me. I just pick the simple one is right over here. Then click view image. There. Then save as. Let's click save. You can save it anything anywhere you want. Go back to the full job. Wait a second. there the downloads done go back to Photoshop then the place then find the photo that you save there's mine then enter and then you can place it anywhere you want I think I'm going to resize this small 
that let's make sure the layer of the photo is rotherized and then layer needs to be at the bottom of the text so you can see that so that over you can put it anywhere you want and we'll just turn it right there then you can put uh, open up blending options double click it with drop shadow opacity to opacity to 75 distance to 55 I am so sorry distance to 0 spread to 55 size 20 big stroke oh and then click. there and you're done There, and then you can you wanna say you know wanna, you wanna go to file, save as, then make sure the format is PNG, and then you can name it whatever you want. Um, I just make it how to make a custom thumbnail in Photoshop. As you see, it's saving. Is done so there you go guys i teach you how to make your custom thumbnail but first of all can we get a 100 like in this video don't forget to subscribe share and do whatever you want on this channel so i'm tomorrow's gaming i'm signing out